Hello friends and students. Let us solve a few interesting statement problems on Boolean algebra. There are three sensors attached to a printing device with three alarms attached to the sensors. The first sensor A detects if it needs ink. The second sensor detects if the device needs repair. And the third sensor C detects if the device should jam. If the device needs repair or jam, alarm 1 is sounded. If the device needs jams or is short of ink, alarm 2 is sounded. For two or more problems, alarm 3 is sounded. So what has been given in the problem? That there is a printer with three sensors attached and there are sensors A, B and C. Right? Now each of these sensors actually indicates something. So sensor A indicates that if the printer is short of ink, it is indicated by sensor A. If it needs repair, it is indicated by sensor B. And if you need to jam the printer, it is indicated by sensor C. Now these sensors are connected to three alarms. Now if the printer needs a repair or needs to be jammed, you have an alarm 1 which is sounded. Whereas if the printer is short of ink, or needs to be jammed, you have alarm 2 which goes on and if there are two or more problems, you have alarm 3 which is sounded. So let us write the two tables. So we have three sensors A, B and C. So since we have three inputs, definitely there are eight combinations 0, 0, 0, 2, 1, 1, 1. Now what are the outputs? For these three input combinations which indicate the sensors, so these are the sensors, you have three outputs. So based on the combinations of these three sensors, the, so whether the sensors are on or off, there are three alarms. So you have alarm 1 and then we have alarm 2 and then of course we have alarm 3. So now when does alarm 1 go high? Alarm 1 goes high if the printer needs a repair or a jam. So if the printer needs a repair or needs to be jammed, we have sensors B or C going high. So it is B or C. So B or C is indicated by B plus C. Right? So this output alarm 1 is nothing but B plus C. So 0 plus 0 is 0. So 0 plus 1 is 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1. So this is the output. So the first output, alarm 1, is just B or C. Now what about alarm 2? So alarm 2 goes high if the printer needs to be jammed or if the printer is shortage of ink. So that is indicated by A. If the printer is shortage of ink, it is indicated by the sensor A. Or if it needs to be jammed, it is indicated by sensor C. So therefore, alarm 2 is nothing but A plus C. So that's very easy. So it's going to be A plus C. And what about alarm 3 if there are two or more problems? So when do we have two or more problems if there are two or more ones? Okay, so if there are two ones, it means there are two problems. If two sensors are on. If there is just one sensor on, that means there is only a single problem. So you have alarm 3 going high if there are two or more problems. So two or more problems are for these combinations. It is high. So before that, let us complete A plus C. So A plus C is you have 0, 1, 0 plus 0 is 0, 0 plus 1 is 1, 1 plus 0 is 1, 1 plus 1 is 1, 1 plus 0 is 1. 1 plus 1 is 1. It's just A or C. And what about alarm 3? It is high for these combinations. The combinations where I've put a tick for 0, 1, 1, for 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1, 1. And for all the other combinations, it is 0. So therefore, I need to find the expression for alarm 3. That is one of the outputs. So how do I do that? By having the three variable k map. So the inputs are a, b and c. 
So we know how to simplify a three variable K map. So the inputs are 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1. So I can group two of them. So these two can be grouped, these two and these two. So when I combine these two ones, so it's going to be A and C, where B gets eliminated because it's in complementary. For this, it is definitely BC because A gets eliminated because it is in complementary. And for this, you have A and B because C gets eliminated. So alarm 3 is indicated by AC plus AB plus BC. So it is AB plus BC plus AC. So how do I do the implementation? The implementation is very simple. So there are three inputs which indicate the sensors. So the three inputs are A, B and C. So we draw three parallel lines A, B and C. And then the alarm one goes high which is B plus C. So B and C pass it through an OR gate. So this is alarm one. And then alarm two is A plus C. So this is alarm 2 and then we have AB, so I have A, B pass it through an AND gate and then we have BC, again pass it through another AND gate and then AC, so this is A and C pass it through another AND gate, pass all of them through a 3 input OR gate, so we get alarm 3. So this is the implementation. So we have alarm 1 going high if the printer needs a repair or needs to be jammed. We have alarm 2 going high if the printer needs to be jammed or a shortage of ink. And alarm 3 if there are two or more problems. So of course to get the simplified expression for alarm 3 I have used KMAP which is much more simpler. So this was an interesting problem. So we will take another interesting problem in the next video segment. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe and press the bell icon to get notifications of further uploads. And to view all the videos in Digital Electronics, click on the i button or go through the playlist Digital Electronics and thanks for watching.